Remember, if you like this video, don't forget to press the subscribe button and press the notification bell so you will be alerted to when I have new videos. We will also have a catch and cook segment at the end of this adventure, so stay tuned to the end. Welcome to another episode of Mock Fishing. In this episode, we will once again return with a new crew to Matterwoman Creek for Blue Catfish. I was the first one to make it to the Matterwoman Creek boat ramp. High tide was in the morning. Low tide would be sometime after 1 p.m. The plan was to head up the creek and fish the end of the outgoing tide and then fish the incoming tide in the afternoon. Uh, moving water is very important for catching blue cats at Matawoman Creek. Well, it looks like we have one arrival. It looks like it's uh, Ed. <laughs> well, Ron is just pulling in now. Here's his outback. And here's Ron, the catfish slayer. <laughs> what about all that? How you doing? And also the early birthday boy. Birthday's tomorrow. Here we go, we'll do Happy that. early birthday. How you doing? Yep. You, well, here's Eric. Eric's arrived now. Oh, well, we're going to have a crew. That's it. This is it. This is it. Hey, how's it going, Eric? Good. You guys got here early. Uh, they just they just got here just like ten minutes ago. Uh, yep. Beautiful day, isn't it? Oh yeah, a little bit more wind than we expected, but it's still fine for here, and it's going to warm up. It's going to warm up real good. So, so Ron, this is your catfish rig for when you're floating. When you're not anchoring? Yep. And the reason I use this is to keep the bait off the bottom and keep it from getting hung up on obstructions and things. Okay. And of course, Sebmo uh, circle hook, inline circle hook, and a fish finder sliding sinker. Okay, so you. Which really has no function unless I'm putting it on bottom. But even if I'm putting it on bottom, the float still keeps the bait off the bottom. Okay. So this works okay. Uh huh. But if I'm just anchored and we got a good current and all that kind of stuff, mm -hmm. you don't need this. Right. Regular, regular old Carolina rig type fish finder rig is all you need. Okay. But if you want to get fancy and all that kind of shit, and, and since I'm fishing for really big ones today and I'm not looking for table fare. Right. <laughs> you know, big old slimy uglies. I'm using this. Oh, don't say that about the blue cats. They're the pretty blue cats. They're, They're the pretty, pretty cats compared to the other ones. You know what? I've still got slime in my boat from the last big one I got in here. <laughs> I have scrubbed it and scrubbed it and scrubbed it, and I still haven't got all that slime off of it. You got a nice Lorance uh, fish finder there. You like it? Oh, I love it. It's the uh, Hook 2 TS uh, side scan, uh, total scan setup. Works really well. Okay. Alrighty. Gotta have your measuring board to be legal. Yep. Good, Ron? Mm -hmm. You good? We launched at 12.45 p.m. and headed up the river for a 30-minute paddle. Oh, my. 
My first fish I landed for the day was a 26.5 inch blue cat. This was Ed's first time targeting blue cats. He had two knockdowns but was unable to land any on this day. He knows what he needs for next time. But for now, he loved enjoying the beauty of Mattawoman Creek. Oh, got one. Yep. Oh, oh yeah. There he goes. Oh, nice. Oh, man, he's a heavy dude. Ron also caught several nice fish today. He was just doing catch and release and enjoying being out with his kayak fishing friends. Eric focused on catching catfish exclusively. He anchored in four feet of water and cast it out into a channel. And there he stayed, amassing at least seven nice catfish. here. I got a darn catfish on a line. I thought I got hung. And I got a light line on this. Oh, come on. He's coming over to me, but oh yeah. He's doing his little death roll. He's an eating size. Come on. That sucker. It was a good day. We only kept four fish. Two I kept and the other two were donated to some shore fishermen. Now time for the catch and cook. I got some uh, four fillets of blue catfish. I'm going to clean them off. them all first, put them in this bowl, then I'm going to do a little trimming. Okay. So there's this line right here. And I don't want that line, so I'm going to cut on each side of that line. That's like a vein. It gets a little chewy. There we go. And there's, see, see there's a little red uh, meat there. Don't want that. Also, just do a tiny bit. Alright, so there we go. One fillet done. See that meat? Do the same repeat. Okay. 
the refuge. Rinse it out. And I'm going to soak it in salt for probably 15 minutes, 20 minutes. I'm going to drain it again and soak it in buttermilk for about maybe an hour. Okay, the water is clear. Now, just a little bit of salt. And don't worry, if you think it's too much, it's going to be rinsed off. It's just to help pull out any impurities and pull out any uh, blood that might be still in the kitty cat. Put this in the fridge for 15 minutes and we'll be back. Okay, now I'm going to rinse off the salt from these and put this in buttermilk. Actually, I'm probably going to cut them first into smaller pieces. Okay, now I've uh, cut each, well, except for that one, but most of the fillets I cut them in half. Okay, here's the buttermilk. Once again, I'm going to put them in the fridge. It's covered. There we go. Now I'll put it in the fridge for a little while. Maybe an hour. You can also do it overnight. There they go. Well, one thing I almost forgot. The crystal hot sauce. I'm going to put a little bit of that in here with the buttermilk and the catfish. And I'm going to mix it up good. Okay. I'm just going to do this uh, quickly. This is just a simple Zataran mixture with some cornmeal and cornstarch black pepper and garlic and then my fake the fish fillets and frying some other things today buttermilk hot sauce mixture will uh, let the flour that around seasoning uh, stick to the, the fish it's not going to be a very thick batter very light batter since Mr. Catfish is uh, healthier than some other fish out there the blue cat at least All right, let's load up there in about three minutes it'll be ready well this is what the finished product looks like some fried blue catfish Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share.